I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. The leader of Afghanistan visited the White House yesterday, asking President Obama for a delay in the scheduled withdrawal of U.S. troops from his war-torn nation. Barack had a good laugh about it, and they broke for lunch. Burger King has announced plans for a Whopper-scented perfume. According to the Huffington Post, the fast food giant says they'll release the flame-grilled fragrance in Japan on the inaugural Whopper Day. Each purchase will come with a Whopper and cost 5,000 yen, or roughly $4 US. One potential problem, though, the release date is April 1st, meaning this all could just be a big April Fool's Day joke. And if so, that sucks, because I'm counting on using the Whopper-scented perfume to get a bit more snuggle time with my wife. When a lawyer stood up in a Connecticut courtroom, a bag of marijuana fell out of his back pocket. So, like any good lawyer, he's suing his pants manufacturer for a wardrobe malfunction. A proposal to make Hang On Sloopy Ohio's official rock song has struck the right note with state representatives. The Ohio House voted 82 to 13 to pass the measure last Wednesday, sending it to the state Senate for consideration. The Senate, however, has not considered it. Hopefully because they're busy with other things, like finding people jobs, helping the homeless, and defeating crime. All of that stuff really needs to be fixed before anyone even considers a hang-on sloopy law. Secretary of State John Kerry compared himself to Lincoln, Churchill, MLK, Gandhi, and Mandela for addressing the threat of climate change. Uh, sorry, John. At best, maybe Al Roker. During a mass in Naples on Saturday, Pope Francis was given a vial of dried blood belonging to St. Gennaro, the city's patron saint. The Archbishop of Naples says when Pope Francis kissed the glass, the blood half liquefied, and the Cardinal declared it a miracle. All right, at the risk of sounding uh, sacrilegious, since when does God perform half miracles? I don't remember Jesus healing the blind, but only one eye, or healing the lame by fixing an ankle, but your knee is going to remain whack. State wildlife officers in California managed to resuscitate a 66-inch sturgeon and have cited the man who pulled the fish from the Sacramento River. Officers spotted the suspected poacher along the river last week. The man hooked a very large fish and drove off with it in the bed of his pickup truck. The officers pulled the man over and brought the large, untagged fish back to the riverbed, where they rocked it back and forth, moving water over its gills. After 20 minutes, the fish gained the strength to swim away. Fishing for white sturgeon, which are native to California, is highly regulated. They can live to 100 years old. But at age 100, they're not all that tender and delicious. A Northeast Ohio man called 911 to report that his wife stole his cocaine and was then arrested himself. Officers responding to the call discovered the man had a marijuana pipe and was wanted on a warrant for failing to pay hundreds of dollars in costs in an earlier court case. 39-year-old Robert D. Collins of Alliance was charged with two misdemeanor counts alleging improper use of the 911 system and possession of drug paraphernalia. When his wife didn't show up to bail him out, he used his phone call to again call 911 to report his wife missing. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. Get more weird news at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. While you're there, you can also join the Daily Dose of Weird News Facebook group to see other weird news stories, or you can post your own. Download the free app for Apple or Android, sign up for my newsletter, visit me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, check out audiobooks that I've voiced, and more. It's all in one place, DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Until next time, keep it real. Weird.